The Key Investor Information Document, KIID, is a two-page document, whereas three pages are allowed for structured products, divided into five sections. Objectives and Investment Policy A narrative description of the objectives and investment policy of the fund, including the main targeted investments. Synthetic Risk and Reward Profile This section includes both a risk indicator and a narrative description explaining how the risk indicator was calculated and any other risks which are not captured by the risk indicator. The calculation of the synthetic risk and reward indicator is itself set down in the rules, with different versions of the calculation for different types of fund. In simple terms, the volatility of the fund, i.e. the variability in its price, is calculated for the last five years and then assigned to one of seven risk classes, one being low, and seven being high. Charges. The charges section has to include entry and exit fees and ongoing charges and performance fees, all stated as percentages. Past performance. A bar chart showing 10 calendar years of performance history, where available, must be included. If an investment benchmark is referred to in the Objectives and Investment Policy section, the benchmark performance must also be shown. Practical information. The final section includes information such as how to contact the fund, how to obtain further information, and the law applying to the fund. Since it is intended to provide investors with all of the basic information they require, the KIID is a standalone document, although it can indicate where an investor can obtain more detailed information. For example, the prospectus. Alternatively, the KIID can be attached to other documents as long as its importance is not reduced by doing so. The KIID was intended to be a major step forward in providing investors with concise and accessible information about a fund they may be investing in or considering investing in. However, for firms, the production of the KIID may entail a significant commitment of resources. This is particularly the case for larger fund managers, which manage not only a wide range of funds, but also multiple classes of shares within each fund. Since the rules governing the KIID mean that, in most cases, it is necessary to produce a separate document for each share class. In addition, Firms must ensure that the KIID is kept up to date, with the rules specifying that the KIID must be updated at least annually, within 35 business days of the end of the calendar year. This must include the updating of the performance data. The KIID must also be updated if there is a change to the synthetic risk and reward indicator value over a four-month period i.e. a change in the fund's risk profile, or any change to the name, charges, benchmark or investment objective of the fund. It is anticipated that the KIID will ultimately be replaced as USIT's funds are subsumed into the new Key Information Document, KID, regime as part of the Packaged Retail and Insurance-Based Investment Products, PREPS, regulation. However, USIT's funds have an exemption, which means that the change will not come into effect until the end of December 2019. <laughs>